work for me, people that work for me, stuff on Twitch, but I also work full time for Twitch, which is why I'm here. I'm the managing producer of creative development there, and I'm really excited to talk to some awesome creators today who you probably know, but in case you don't, why don't we go down the table and have you guys introduce yourself, tell a little bit about what you do, and especially your live streams on Twitch. Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. I go by the name Isis Hoplick on Twitch and YouTube. Um, I'm a variety streamer. I also try to incorporate a lot of creative and artistic and fun. I also do a lot of Twitch things. Twitch channel called Jack's Films on Twitch. I don't know what I do man, on Twitch. I sometimes I stream my editing sessions because I have a YouTube channel, so I'll stream the whole editing process. Then I'll break down and play Fortnite um, <laughs> or Jackbox games or just chat and uh, hang with uh, anyone watching. Hi, I'm Natalie Casanova, also known as Zombie Unicorn. And I do Twitch and YouTube, and I've been on Twitch for seven years, so for a really long time. And I do about 80% variety gaming, and then I'll do makeup and beauty, body art, um, digital art, editing, music, pretty much everything. I'm like all about doing everything on Twitch, so that's what I do. A lot of things creatively and a lot of video things creatively so I want to hear what you use Twitch for like when you think about your overall kind of suite of creation what is Twitch really good for and what do you use it the most to do to support your overall career, creative career why don't we start on that and start using the book yeah I have, I've been on Twitch since almost the beginning so for me I've just really garnered my audience and my community there and I, I find it you know just a way for us all to connect and like that in a safe space and you know just like like-minded and good individuals who are excited about games or the create the stuff that we're creating whether it's art or music and and just like really connecting and making it interactive and engaging i actually do a lot more twitch than i do youtube because i really like the live aspect of interacting with people online in real time so i use it to uh, just talk with viewers honestly uh, because the people who normally watch you on on twitch are your supporters you know even more so than youtube comments especially more so than youtube comments so it's like they're there for you so i um i love that so i bounce ideas off them i go i'll think about doing this for a video what do you guys think and they'll give their very honest feedback um because they want to be there and they want to they want to talk with the creator on Twitch, which I love. So I kind of use that as like a little live public forum kind of thing. Same, I just, it's just really nice to have that interaction. I've been doing YouTube for almost 10 years, so coming to Twitch has just been like a seriously a safe space and just somewhere where my you know core fans are and it's just really easy to bounce ideas and see what they want, just try new things and just try new things and try to just, even just creating art and painting together and having fun, really. All of you kind of mentioned this idea of um, communicating with your community in real time and making a space that feels good for you. In, in any order, can you guys talk a little bit about how you feel about your community on Twitch and then kind of the idea of the Twitch community in general? They're great. <laughs> No, but like I said earlier, they're just I feel like it's generally more supportive mm. on Twitch. Where do you think that is? They the people who want to see you live are the real fans, the real like the real guys that they're not gonna troll you, not really, you know. <laughs> like it, it, it's like if you are trolling, why the hell are you here? Again? <laughs> um, but it's just I don't know. I mean, do you guys kind of get that that feeling? I mean, especially if you've been on YouTube for ten years, you know. I'm sure you've seen your fair share of mean-spirited comments, I mean, I sure have. Yeah, know. for sure. Definitely. Um, sorry. Yeah, just, 
we were kind of talking about your community on Twitch and why it is that you feel that sense of community when you're there as yeah. other places. You know, I it's I don't know, I just feel like it, you just feel more connected because it's real time and you can actually I mean compared to like a YouTube live stream, you can't even read the comments and it's like you're just there to entertain, but when you're there streaming with your Twitch viewers, you're in it together and experiencing and you're just <laughs> I think Twitch is a really big happy, well, big happy and dysfunctional family. <laughs> and I think something that's a little different on Twitch, which helps to create this community, is you have like things like rating that have been around forever. Um, and YouTube, when you do a collaboration with somebody, you can be like, yeah, go check out their video. But otherwise, when you finish a video, you might not be like, oh, go check out my friend's channel. You're always saying, go look at my other videos. But on Twitch, when you're done streaming, a lot of people will be like, hey, we're gonna go raid this other channel now. I'm done for the day, but let's go hang out in my friend's chat. And so that kind of like, we all share viewers, we all, you know, kind of know a lot of the same Twitch community memes, everybody's connected, we're all, I'm not everybody, but you know, some people are very involved and, and knowledgeable about what's going on in the community and Twitch, and we share that information regularly. So I think that creates a really strong sense of like family and community on Twitch. What are the ways that you guys like to specifically interact with, with the people that you're interacting with in real time? Because I think sometimes that can feel scary and that you have to kind of be on the spot. But like you said, these are some of your people who come time and time again, or they're people that want to learn more about you or support you. So what are the ways that you really like to interact with those people? Meaning, do you like to answer questions? Do you like to educate? Or you know, even are there some things where you're like, I don't really like it when somebody wants to interact this way with me on Twitch. A couple of things. I um, first off, I love shouting out people that are like old time, old time regulars. Like, oh, this, you know, this jerk's back again. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it, it's it's fun. It shows a sense of like community and support and loyalty almost. Um, and then, uh, yeah, uh, doing the whole editing. Thing. Like, if I'm editing a video and live streaming that editing session on Twitch, I like to walk through what I'm doing. I'll say like, well, this joke kind of sucks, so I'm gonna like, trim it this way. And the reason I'm doing that is blah 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 blah. blah. And I kind of I treat it like a live walkthrough, and then people will give me feedback while I'm editing too, which I love. They're like, oh, use um use Comic Sans font for this one. <laughs> it'll make the it'll make the joke land harder. You're right. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Ninja. You know, like, uh, so that's you know, and that's just like the tip of the iceberg with uh, how I can like communicate with. Them. Right. Are there other ways, I mean, that may be the same for you too, but is there any other way that you like to communicate or interact? Just the other day, I did like a, a pride makeup look, but it was all interactive, so I had like the chat help me pick what kind of colors, obviously rainbow, but like the placement and different things, and sometimes when I do like other makeup and beauty streams, I'll, I'll just completely do whatever chat's telling me. Like, they're like, oh, you should do this here, and I'm like, that's a great idea, I'll do that, like put a star here or something. And I think it's just really, really fun to, it's almost like doing a poll, but it's just live, and anybody can throw it out there in the, in the you know, gallery. Some of the, some of the comments are like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but it's, it's really fun. Why do you like giving those suggestions? Is it because you want to um, entertain and, and let your audience feel like they made something, or is it because you like the inspiration or some common combination? Probably a combination of both. Yeah. yeah. I feel like sometimes someone will have a way better idea than I have, or, you know, just bring something to my attention, and it, feels like a collaborative effort and so when I do some editing or even like house flipper designing mm. or even singing they choose the songs um it just feels more special when you're creating another piece of content and you know that you have this interaction with your, with your core fans and then you'll see in the YouTube comments I was there for that live stream or I had yeah. this idea and it's just it's more rewarding mm. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because I think people generally think of Twitch as mostly a home for gaming and live streaming games, and primarily a lot of you guys do a lot of that kind of streaming, but you all just mentioned other kinds <laughs> of streaming that are totally different, you know, makeup, house flipping, designing, editing, and I'm curious, we talk a lot about like how does content get discovered and algorithms and what pressures do we have on ourselves to do certain types of content, even if it's not what we're really interested in. How do you use Twitch to experiment and do these different kinds of content? And how does that work and why do you find that Twitch is the place to do that? So what I did last, I did a thing last year for like 20 streams. I kind of, I tried my hand at a game show via Twitch. Mm -hmm. And 
it was it was yeah lie. I, I think I heard some don't cry. Don't cry. It was a failure. Um, but it was cool because it was the kind of thing that I could not physically be able to do on YouTube because the way that people submitted answers. So the game show was I would ask a very you know general question, describe your X and four words, and then people would submit in the Twitch chat their answers, but they would submit it with a um, a, a command mm -hmm. and with that and, and their answer. And that meant that I could see all of their answers in real time in a spreadsheet that only I could see, and then I could copy and paste the ones that you know made me chuckle. Um, put them in a poll, and then people would vote also in the Twitch chat. They would vote for the funniest answer by typing one, two, three, or four. It was so easy, and that like I, that could never work on YouTube. Mm -hmm. They don't have you don't have command prompts in, in the YouTube chat. Um, but it was a marvelous uh, little failure, and uh, I had a lot of fun uh, doing it uh, when I didn't pull my hair out. But um, that's just like it's stuff like that that made me like really want to try out Twitch. Mm -hmm. Just the possibility of it. like having that tech is really cool. Hmm. I think to also um, just I'm sorry, I'm blinking. <laughs> You're fine. We're talking about you know doing experimental yeah. content or different content. Why is Twitch a good place to do that? Um, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Well, I started Twitch mainly streaming Smite and. I played Smite like all day every day for like almost a year in, in closed beta and then I got some great advice from somebody who was like, hey, you should you know play other games or else you're going to have this audience that only will watch you play this game. And then, so I, I kind of ventured out, played some other games, played Minecraft, played horror games, and then one once I realized like, oh, I could do music on here, and then with the addition of the IRL category, which is now just chatting and all the other categories, I have, I've done stuff like that before on YouTube. And then when Twitch was more open to other content, I was like, I'm gonna do this on Twitch because I really enjoy Twitch personally a little more because of the connection with the community. Um, and so then I just wanted to just do it all in one place on Twitch and really, I've over the years from not sticking to one game, I've, I've gotten an audience that will watch me do anything. I've, I've done like UV resin jewelry sitting there, <laughs> like random stuff, you know? Sometimes we just sit and talk and it's just, a great way to like hang out <laughs> so you know if it's interesting to me and it's okay with TOS then, <laughs> then I'll then I'll try streaming it so I was gonna say I think um just exploring other content that wouldn't necessarily work mm -hmm. on YouTube because the algorithm changes so much you mm -hmm. can't really play a full like full playthrough of a game and it's just fun to have that experience and people do want to see that but it's um, tough when there's, you know, these systems that don't promote those type of videos. So. Yeah. How do you guys balance the difference between the content that you feel interested in or inspired by, like, like you read jewelry, which I've never even heard of, it sounds awesome, uh, and the type of things you think your, your specific community wants to watch, and then the kind of things that maybe an algorithm would choose, or that you feel like will get discovered or will get an audience. How do you as a creator balance those things and choose between them? I try to find like middle ground. So for example, yeah, Fortnite's real big. And sure, I guess to play the game, Twitch game, you got you know, I dabble, but so you take advantage of 